This is James Held of the Cassis and Helder Show here on Box Nation. I'm quite fortunate enough to be joined by Jack Catterall. Firstly, how are you, Jack? Yeah, very well, thank you. Good. Very well. Also, with me, I've got Haroon Headley. Yes, how are you? I'm good, James, always, brother. You good? Very well. Very well. Got to say, good to catch up with you, little boys. I know you're in camp at the moment and everything's sort of going well and working towards your big fight. Let's talk about preparation and everything's going thus far. Yeah, really well. Uh, we've had good notice for the fight now. I think it was like 14 weeks ago when it got announced, so uh, we've been a long time in the gym working and we're at that final stage now, two weeks to go, so I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Do you feel you and Tyrone Nurse have had this brewing for a while? We, we've seen the situation spoke about. Will you be finally glad to get in the ring with him and share a ring with Tyrone Nurse? Yeah, it's been spoke about a few times. I was mandatory over 18 months ago, but the fight's finally in now, so... I guess all the talking's pretty much done. Two weeks' time, it can be settled in the ring. Now, Haroon, you and Jack have had quite a good time to sort of get used to each other, the way you work, the bond. I know with the heavy hitters, Jim, being established as well, he's had great time with yourself. How is he evolving as a fighter under your tutelage? Yeah, Jack's evolving. He's, um, he's smart, you know what I mean, James? He's, um, he's a joy to work with, and, you know, he always gets when you get a fighter that, you know, they pick things up straight away. You know, um, we're on the same page, and it, you know it makes for a, a, a good relationship. And you know that's what we've got um, moving forward. You know, like you said, the heavy hitters, Jim's established, and you know, you know, Jack and myself, Jordan, Raza, people are you know been there from scratch, and it's building. So obviously, every day is a new day, and every day is you know a great day moving forward. Let's talk a little bit about your fight. You've got a chance to get your hands on this British title. You're on the undercard of uh, Josh Warrington versus Dennis Sealan in Leeds. How excited are you to finally get a chance at this British title? Really looking forward to it. I've been up to uh, Leeds before, to the to the first director arena and watched Josh fight. And I know that all the Leeds fans, they go mad for it. So I'm looking to bring an army up from where I live and uh, have a really good good fight up there. It's crazy in Leeds. We've, we've seen on Box Nation the shows and stuff. The, the fan base at Warrington brings. Will you be hoping to, to sort of gain a new following yourself from, from these outings? Yeah, I think that the general... Uh, feel for the fight is everybody's excited for the fight uh, I've got a good amount of people coming over to support me so it'll be good and I like going into the back garden I've done it a few times where I've been over to Liverpool and it's slightly hostile I don't know if they're all been there to support Tyrone we'll see but I'm looking forward to it Tyrone Nurse is very tall for the weight he's very rangy he's got a very awkward style how do you anticipate negating that how, how do you think you'll deal with with what Tyrone Nurse brings uh, I think I said in the last time we spoke, I'll be ready for any Tyrone nurse that turns up, whether it be like the last fight where he didn't look too great, or uh, the f fights before that where he's looked his best. Uh, he's got sev he does several different things, like every fighter. So it's on the night I've got to be able to adapt and impose myself on Tyrone. Let's talk a little bit about Tyrone nurse tactically. What did you see in the last fight watching him? You know, I've seen, a, I've seen a lot of things and, you know, some people just, you know, concentrate on, you know, the bad of what they see in a Tyrone, but I've still seen a, a lot of good of the stuff he did, you know, mate, you know, you've got to give him some credit, you know what I mean, and, you know, he's been a champion for a good while, James, you know what I mean, and, yeah, he looked flat, you know, he, he said he's spoken about his weight, he's spoke about his motivation, and, you know, to be fair, he, you know, he's been, he has been patient, you know, he's been in, in, that, in that pocket to where, you know, no one's really entertained him, so may, maybe, you know, he might be one of them lads that he needs some excitement to raise, you know, raise his bar you know what I mean so you I'll know let's it. see yeah and he, he's, he, I'll bring the excitement <laughs> he's gonna get that with Jack you know what I mean and that's the Tyrone we've prepared for the best Tyrone man I've seen him on his videos running up in the hills in Tenerife and all that he's doing his thing you know what I mean so he's taking it serious and you know I'm glad he's done that because Jack's prepared and Jack's serious for him you know what I mean and um, you know so you know you, you look at what Tyrone does and you think you know well there's loads of things I could pick up, but I'm not going to give uh, Mr. Ashton anything to, to think, oh, we've not, what, we've not thought about covering that base, you know what I mean? So, you know, let's do this, you know. You mentioned Chris Ashton. It's a chance for you as a trainer to pit your wits against Chris. He, he is a, a character, no doubt, larger than life. How do you think you'll handle sort of that situation? That's going to ignore him. <laughs> Straight up. We, you know, he's had his moment with me, you know what I mean? We've spoken. That's going to ignore him now, you know what I mean, and crack on and, you know, he, you know, he's underestimating the young guard and, you know, and, you know, it's great, you know, to, uh, to, to pit your wits against someone who's been around boxing for so long. So, you know, looking forward to it. And, you know, like I said, I walked down them steps. Chris walks down them steps. It's Tyrone and Jack that walked in the middle of the ring. You know what I mean? So who's, who's prepared more out of the two of them and who wants it more? You know what I mean? So let's wait and see, you know, you know, 
with some more I say on with Chris Ashton. I think he's had enough air time over it. I think he's done more talking on the fight than Tyrone. Quick fire round. Catch or nurse who wins? Nurse catch or who wins? <laughs> Stupid question. <laughs> Next. <laughs> what method What method will the victory be by? Knockout. Are you brave enough to predict a round on Cassius Nelda? Seven. Wow, big statement. Big yeah, they're there first, man, Tyrone. Yeah, man, you get them that hair lovely braided and stuff like that, man, so we can see you shiny, your nice shorts, man. He always wears nice shorts, though. He always wears nice shorts. He always looks slick and nice. What other fights are interesting you? What what sort of ticking the boxes for you at the moment? What's going What's going on? What What? Tell me about life in the Jack Catchell sort of household. Just boring. Living in the gym, in the gym, sleeping, eating. Uh, I can enjoy life after the fight, and I will.